it's good to be over here. I'm kind of bummed only for the fact that I don't get to look after my niece. Um, I get to look after her every Saturday and I miss out on that. And she's awesome. She's at around eight and she's really smart. And um, I'm trying to teach her things like tongue twisters, but she always comes back to me with these like really good questions. And uh, she said to me, Aunty Zoe, if woodchucks can in fact not chuck wood, why are they called woodchucks? I was like, fucking touche, Sally. Fuck, I like called woodchucks. Can you tell me that? It's a bit of bullshit. You might as well just say, like, how much would Stevie Wonder see if Stevie Wonder could see? <laughs> Omega 3, does anyone take that? Oh, yeah. Do you find it works? Anyone? No? I don't know. What I hate about it is it always makes my mouth taste like it just ate pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, alleged pussy. <laughs> you guys always say pussy tastes like fish, but you never define what kind of fish pussy actually tastes like. <laughs> does funny tasting pussy taste like clownfish? <laughs> Examples. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, does a lesbian pussy taste like rainbow fish? <laughs> or does really tight pussy taste like Jew fish? <laughs> and in Australia, that's a real pitch. So it's not even that close to anyone you think it is. It's okay. It's totally PC. But I, um, I've been reading Martin Luther King's speech since I was here because obviously that guy's a, a good dude. And I try to write my own because I try and have some more positive material. But what I've realised is I'm just a bit of a cunt. <laughs> and um, so I wrote my own. I wrote my own speech. Um, and uh, here it is for you guys. Okay. So uh, my dream of the day is when I know what the fuck a bloomin' onion is. <laughs> my dream of the day when people stop asking me which direction my toilet washes. So I don't look the way my deuce goes down. <laughs> I don't. We can all agree that boneless chicken wings are just fucking chicken breasts cut into weird pieces. I dream of that, eh? Uh, I dream that I had a dream that would kind of prepare you for the next three dreams. <laughs> Which, um, I dream of the day that uh, all football coaches rape the boys. <laughs> Sorry, hang on. <laughs> don't, don't rape all little boys. <laughs> Uh, I dream that Kim Kardashian gets AIDS, and not like Magic Johnson AIDS, but AIDS AIDS. <laughs> AIDS, that means she won't be on TV anymore, she'll have stabs on her face, she can't be magazines. Uh, I finish up, I dream the day that comics are brave enough to rip shit, not just on Christians, but Muslims as well. Go with me on this. Uh, so I wrote a joke, so here we go. Uh, no one but me knows this, but uh, over in Mecca, the Muslim clerics look to improve their positive public profile. Uh, so they want to get some celebrities on board to help make that happen, and they've decided they want Michael J. Fox on board um, because they said he'd make a really great shake. So, uh, and that's not even just a joke against Muslims, that's a joke about Parkinson's disease. So you're welcome. Thanks, guys. You're amazing. Relationship. Oh shit, alright. Um, uh, it's an anniversary? That yeah, kinda. Do you want it to be? Who knows? Alright. Now, anyways, I asked because uh, a friend of mine proposed to his girlfriend the other day. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, she said no. <laughs> that is terrible. And that makes me scared to ask the question. You know what I mean? Because I have to have a plan B for everything in life, alright? If I ever ask a girl to marry me, it's on April 1st. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I'll just be baby, baby. I'd love to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> April Fools, bitch. Uh... <laughs> oh, you are adorable. That is. Ah, uh, you should feel awkward right now. Uh... <laughs> yeah. 
Man, I'm, uh, I am kind of an asshole. I get angry about things I shouldn't get angry about. I'm just a very angry person. I hate it when somebody holds the door for me. Because nobody holds the door for me when I'm right behind them and it's convenient. This is the one I always get. I always get somebody holds the door for me and I'm on the other end of the fucking parking lot. <laughs> So now I feel socially obligated to sprint to get inside of Taco Bell. Like that was, like health was the concern right now. I hate it when referring to candy, when people use the term bite-sized. All food is bite-sized if you know how to fucking chew. It's chewing bites, people. I hate it when people say, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Yeah, you would, because you'd be me. That's, that's how this works. It's the only fucking possibility. You would do everything I would do. For example, if I was you, I'd be a dick and kind of judgmental, all right? Yeah. Shut up. I hate it. I hate it when people use the term photogenic. I don't like the term photogenic. There's always that one person in a group who says, don't take my picture. I don't look good in pictures. No, you're ugly. That's... That's what that is. <laughs> Let me tell you something about a picture, okay? A picture is an exact replica of what the fuck you look like. That's... You can't argue with science, bitch. I don't make rules. All right? I say a picture says a thousand words. Well, ugly is every one of them, so... I don't look good in pictures. You don't look good in real life. <laughs> Fix that first. <laughs> And if you didn't laugh at the joke, you're ugly! So, it comes full circle. Look at that. I hate it when women put unnecessary and unrealistic expectations talking about sex. I always hate that shit. There was a girl I was talking to who said, I need a man who can fuck me for six hours. If a guy can fuck me for six hours, he's a real man. No, if he can fuck you for six hours, he's unemployed. I, I got shit to do today, all right? I, I, I'm only going to be awake for 12 hours. I'm not spending half of it naked, all right? I can't explain to my boss, where were you? That was fucking a bitch. That was fucking that. that was, what the fuck is that? It's not an appropriate excuse, is what I'm saying, man. I, uh... I'm broke. I always uh, got tired. I always hated watching the commercial with the needy kids in it. You ever see that commercial? Yeah. I always make it feel terrible. It always started the same way. You know what I mean? There's always a kid in Africa with a stick playing in a mud puddle. And then, I don't know who's laughing already. That wasn't the funny part. <laughs> There's dying kids. That's how I'm... Calm down, Grand Rapids. All right. Uh, anyways, this kid playing in a mud puddle, and then an old ass white dude walks in out of nowhere. For 10 cents a day. For only 10 cents a day. You can feed and clothe this child. Food and clothes. 10 cents a day. And I'm looking at this like, all right, I, I have to do something. I have to do something. I have to start shopping smarter. 10 cents for food and clothes? Where the hell do you get those type of deals? I, I shop around people. <laughs> Man, then you hear the parents nowadays like, send the kids to college, send the kids to co send these kids to Africa. It's only ten cents over there. We're going about this recession all wrong. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna tell you guys a story. I'll tell you guys an awkward story about a time I was using the bathroom uh, recently. Calm down, calm down, people. There was a guy. There was only two places to go, all right? And there, there was a guy in one stall, so I chose the empty one. Good start, okay? But as soon as I start down, as, as soon as I sit down, he starts talking to me. Agreed, that's weird, right? But he had helpful stuff to say, so it was like, is that, it was okay, I guess? He was like, hey, bro, you don't have any toilet paper. That's why I chose this stall. <laughs> All right, I guess, thank you. Uh, he's like, don't worry, bro, I got you. And he rolls down the toilet paper. He says, just reach your hand under and grab it, man. It's cool. So don't judge me, Grand Rapids. You're racist, you can't judge me anyways. I did, I grabbed the toilet paper, and it worked out fine. I thought it worked out fine until another guy actually came in, and I didn't know it. 
And he didn't know the rules and the relationship set forth by the previous shit occupant. <laughs> so when I reached my hand under, it freaked him out. <laughs> I tried to make him feel better and explain it. I was like, don't worry, man. The last guy said I could. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you guys very much. My name is Jeff Horst. I know. <laughs> I look like him. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day is the only day of the year that nobody tells me I don't look like Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Everyone's always like, you should go on that show, man. You should go meet him. You should go on that show. And the thing is, people with red hair make me uncomfortable. <laughs> Because I feel like when you have red hair, and you meet another person with red hair, that's like going to a party and seeing that somebody else has the same shirt on as you. And then realizing that that shirt looks bad on both people. I invented a new game. It's called, There's Too Much Shit in Your Purse. I'm not looking at you. It's just like operation. You dip your hand into the purse, if you hit the sides with the bullshit that you're pulling out of it, instead of getting electrocuted, I hit you with the bag until it's so light you don't bruise anymore. <laughs> Patent pending. I was talking to my girlfriend about the gynecologist. She says it makes her uncomfortable. I was like, how does it make you uncomfortable? You get to lay on your back on the stirrups, probably look at a picture of Matt Damon. Make eye contact with your physician. She goes, no, no, it makes me uncomfortable. You know, the only way I get through it is, is that I think of you giving me the exam. I don't have a punchline for this. Just made me uncomfortable hearing that. But at least she gets the eye contact. When a man has to get a rectal exam, there's no eye contact. It's just turn around and bend over. So when I get my first rectal exam, guess what I'm doing? I'm asking for the stirrups. <laughs> He's gonna have to look me in the eye. Talk real slow. Make sure there's a picture of Matt Damon on the ceiling for me. Move my dick out of the way to get to my butthole. Now we're having fun. It's a good crowd. I'm handsome, I'm hysterical, let's move past it. <laughs> Jesus, I love you. I will give you an STD later. <laughs> Stuff being so attractive, people are always coming up to me. Zach, I saw someone who looks just like you. If you were younger and had less hair, didn't have a beard, maybe no acne, a little bit thinner, we're black. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Drop dead. Yeah. Come to find out. I was driving up here today. You know what happened? Girlfriend calls me up. Breaks up with me. Rough day for me. True goddamn story, alright? Have some goddamn compassion. <laughs> I knew that was gonna end. I knew that was gonna end because she said things to me like, she called me babe, but then she also called me Wilbur and Porky. <laughs> I don't know why she broke up with me. I bought her great gifts. Last anniversary, you know what I did? Bought her a Kindle. So today when she called me and said we were never on the same page, it was easy for me to call bullshit. <laughs> there are no goddamn pages. <sighs> not good with getting compliments. Not good with pickup lines. What am I supposed to do now, right? Like to go up to girls because words with friends is so huge. Hi, how are you? My name's Zach. Zach with a Z. Z's worth 10 points. She goes, <laughs> fuck off with an F. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Went up to a girl, gorgeous smile, gorgeous girl, wanted to let her know, hey, really a big fan of your smile. Never seen an adult female pull braces off quite like that. Yeah, 
she smacked me in the face because I didn't know she had scoliosis. <laughs> Said, come on, overreaction, straighten up. <laughs> was a good boyfriend, I was. I was a good boyfriend. But I'm a little upset with my English teachers. How you like that segue? Oh shit! I'll tell you why I'm upset with my, my English teachers, okay? Because I was brought up learning punctuation marks and how to end sentences. The period I learned in elementary school and the period I deal with on a goddamn monthly basis are completely different. <laughs> that is the wrong goddamn punctuation mark. It should be called a question mark because you're hot, you're cold, you're happy, you're sad. I don't know what to do. Please make it stop. <laughs> page. Another reason to waste time on there. We got uh, 2170 last time I checked. So we didn't gain any since we started the show. So obviously you people out there are texting or doing something else other than becoming our friends and liking us. So do that, won't you? A lot of photos, videos of the clients. Free admission coupons for the next time you come here. I'm sorry, did I wake you? <laughs> You look like you're like 12 years old. How did I you am know? Up, I am <laughs> You let me in illegally. Illegally? Yeah. So this will be the last Sunday Night Funnies. Uh, <laughs> we're losing liquor license. It's so funny because she was just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you really? I'm 12. Yeah, 12. I'm 24. 24. You can pass for 12. I know. Oh, I know. I'm sure there's a lot of pedophiles disappointed right now. <laughs> I was like, what? She's 24? Damn it! I was gonna follow her out of the parking lot. <laughs> Price is right, I bet you could act 12 years old. I can do that. You have done that? Yeah. You do the little girl voice? This is a little girl voice. What? <laughs> Even more so? A little boy voice, maybe? That doesn't do it. What, am I Jerry Sandusky here? I mean, the little boy voice is good anymore. I'm not your judge, you. Jerry Sandusky, I'm sorry. You're going to say to him, oh, I'm sorry, that's okay, I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> I just maybe had a bad day. <laughs> you need to be raped by five guys, that's what you need. Uh... <laughs> See, I do think rape is funny. What? I do think rape is funny. You think rape is funny. <laughs> Great, I'll make you laugh later on. <laughs> made a woman laugh in bed for the wrong reason. Oh, who the fuck are we? Oh yeah, Facebook page be a part of that. Alright, next comic up it comes from Lansing, Dan Curry. Clap for Dan. How about this? Anybody, uh, uh, Corbin was talking about this earlier, anybody down with medical marijuana? Anybody happy we have that here? Yeah! That always gets them loud. That's always. <laughs> I'm glad that we have medical marijuana in Michigan. Love it. But what a sneaky way to get something legalized, right? Like, we should start doing that things with uh, that with other things that are illegal, you know? Like medical prostitution. <laughs> Stress relief. Like, I don't know, Doc, my back hurts real bad. You're like, go get two blowjobs, put it in her butt, come see me next week. <laughs> You're like, I don't know, Doc, that seems like it's a bad idea, something's going on down here. I got the itchy Richie. <laughs> You're like, well, we'll just clear that up with some medical marijuana. <laughs> He's fine. I love weed, but I used to be afraid of it because we had the D.A.R.E. program. You guys know what I'm talking about? D.A.R.E. program? Yeah. Keep kids off drugs. One time we were in the class and they showed a video and there are a bunch of seventh graders and they're in their house huffing propane because that's what you do in your spare time in middle school. <laughs> and one kid's like, hey, we should smoke some weed. We should smoke some weed. The other kid's like, sure. Lights up a joint and his house explodes. And it's like, don't smoke weed. <laughs> they should say, don't huff propane. What the? <laughs> Pot before propane, your ass will remain. Propane before pot, your ass will get hot. <laughs> Take that home. Safety first, then we get high. That's my, that's my rule. I do love weed, though, which means I watch a lot of Animal Planet. Uh, yeah, I think weird things when I watch Animal Planet. Like, I'm convinced that snakes are gay. Convinced that snakes are gay. Because I don't know if you guys know how snakes have sex. There's one lady snake. She goes into a field. She emits a bunch of pheromones and attracts like 15 dude snakes that have a snake orgy. Uh. 15 guys, one girl, that's almost a gay orgy. 
that one girl isn't doing a whole lot. Like, if you're eating a bowl of Fruit Loops and you drop a Cheerio in it, it's still a bowl of fucking Fruit Loops. It's <laughs> something to become a bowl of Cheerios on you. I see a lot of roadkill on the road. I see a lot of roadkill when I drive around. And uh, I think that's weird. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you just kill something. You're like, fuck it, leave it there. And nobody cares. And you don't even think, like, oh my god, I took a life. You think, like, I hope that asshole didn't mess up my car. <laughs> don't care. That's gotta be so weird on the other side. Like, imagine there's a group of deer. And they're gonna cross the road, and there's like John, he's the leader, and like Sally's his wife, and they got like their special cousin Eric, or whatever. And John's like, all right guys, we're gonna cross the road, we're gonna eat the leaves on that tree across the highway, we're gonna cross the highway, we're gonna eat Eric? Eric, not yet. Eric, shit. And Eric's just dead. He's gone. And John and Sally have to pass him every day on the way to their favorite field. He's all bloated from the rain. There's crows pecking at him. And John's like, you humans are assholes. Move them from the road and bury them. We do it, but we don't have any thumbs. <laughs> Sad, I know. So, uh, a little bit offensive, everybody. I'm a little bit offensive. If you get offended and you want to beat me up after the show, don't. Who's going to win? I'm really skinny dude. My friend's like, dude, you're too skinny. Come to my house. Do some P90X. I was like, awesome. I love drugs. <laughs> Then I found a P90X isn't a drug, it's a set of DVDs with like yoga and Pilates and other faggot exercises on it. It's like, I don't think yoga's gonna beat me up or help me out in a fight. Like some dude's like, you better watch it, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna be like, bullshit, I've been downward dogging all day, I'm gonna kick your ass. Creep the sun, bitch. <laughs> Sorry for saying faggot, by the way. Some people get offended, they say faggot is derogatory towards gay people, like the N-word is derogatory towards black people. No, so I will say faggot, but I won't say the N-word, and that's because black people have guns. <laughs> the worst thing that's gonna happen to me if I say faggot, some gay guy might come to me at the show and be like, you can't say faggot, glitter to the face! <laughs> no, I'm never gonna get this off. It's like the gay back spray. For marriage equality, though, like I make fun of gay people. I'm a for marriage equality. Anybody else? We down here, Grand Rapids. Yeah. Awesome. Like I think they have a lot of issues. I think the biggest issue is like the civil rights movement had a leader. They had an MLK. The gay rights movement needs like an ML gay. You know? <laughs> but he can't be too gay. He can't come up to the podium with like a rainbow tank top with I love cock bedazzled in the front. <laughs> Everyone should be allowed to lick dicks or vaginas, no matter their own genitalia. Like, well, that's too gay. Well, that's too much. Like, MLK was black, but imagine if MLK was, like, really black. Like, if MLK came up and his, like, pants were sagging, and he had, like, chains and a fubu jacket. And he was like, alright, I had a dream last night and shit, yo. But we were all created equal, and I got the fuck of white, bitch. We'd be like, whoa! Oh, that's too much. It's too much. But it's all stereotypes, right? There's gay stereotypes, black stereotypes. There are straight white stereotypes. I live close to a college campus, so I see them all the time. And I see the guys that walk around, they're like, hey, yeah, beer. Foot. Ball. Vagina. I heard one guy turn to another guy and goes, hey, man, let's go pick up some box. Yeah, and I was like, why are you calling a vagina a box? If I ever go down on a girl and her vagina looks like a box, I'm gonna tape that shit up, give it to UPS, and it'll as far away from me as I can get it. <laughs> she have a tattoo that says, this end up. <laughs> on the flip side though, if I ever say box and it looks like a vagina, I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> Keep it in my closet. <laughs> This is a weird thing, I gotta get this off my chest. Just recently broke up with my girlfriend. She's very upset. She's really upset. I broke it off with her. So she started, she's getting a little desperate and she starts sending me nude photos to try to get me back. Tons of nude photos on my phone, it's like insane. I'm like, listen, we were dating for a year and a half. Showing me a picture of your vagina is like trying to give me a bottle of Jack when I have a hangover. <laughs> it was appealing once, but not so much right now. <laughs> You're fucking crazy, stop texting me. 
anyway. <laughs> today, uh, today I had McDonald's, which was a bad idea because it gave me the mixed shits. And who it was going to, too, because you know when you get to the window and your food's already in the bag, you're like, that is the oldest thing you had in the building. You didn't put anything on a grill in the last 15 minutes. You just gave me what was in the oven. It was bad, and I had got the McShits, and I was on the way here. It was terrible, because I was in the car. I had no place to put it. <laughs> you know what gets bad when you start getting the sweats? You have to turn down the radio to concentrate and not crap in your pants. You're like, I know I have, you have a bad romance, Lady Gaga, but I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> you start thinking things like, I better not get pulled over. <laughs> I'm just gonna shit my pants in front of an officer. <laughs> ladies, to get out of a ticket, ladies cry. Dude, just shit your pants. What's he gonna do? <laughs> Give you a ticket while you're shitting your pants? <laughs> Sir, are you shitting your pants? That's what I was speeding. I just... <laughs> you start doing this weird diary of math. Like, I can make it there in 10 minutes. I can pucker my asshole for that long. <laughs> you're almost there, you're almost there. You unbuckle your seatbelt early. <laughs> you get your cell phone and everything already. You're like, when I get it, when I get home, I'm just gonna run inside and let it loose. But in the back of your head, you're like, today might be the day I shit my pants. <laughs> and that sucks, that I'm not a clean, shitty pants. <laughs> just have to throw away. <laughs> One more thing before I get out of here. I think the worst kind of pants of shit would be yoga pants, because everybody would know. <laughs> Anyway, I love the yoga pants. Guys, are we down with the yoga pants trend on the ladies? Yeah, it's beautiful. Best thing about yoga pants, you can instantly tell that a woman does not have a penis. And unless she hasn't tucked up her butt. Which fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, I think I fucked two dudes. Thanks very much. My name's Zachary. Have a good night, everybody.